Γεια! Yeah, Καλώ ήρθε σε ένα ακόμα βίντεο του Hellenica.com. Today we will learn some very important particles in the modern Greek language that might confuse the non-native speakers. You don't have to start using them right away, but it's important to understand how native speakers use them. They just make the formation of a little bit more complicated sentences much easier. These particles are na, fa and as. Na, most of the times, like 99% of the times, is used before the dependent or present verb forms, I mean the verb in the present tense, to express different things, imperatives, wishes or hypotheticals. Μπορώ να έχω, can I have, μπορώ να πάω, can I go, δεν θέλω να πάω, I don't want to go, δεν θέλω να τον δω, I don't want to see him, δεν θέλω να φάω, I don't want to eat. Well, if we translate it directly to English, we can say that the translation is to, to go to eat. Sometimes if we add an article, then na, then a verb, we can turn this verb into a noun and it acts as a gerund. Let me give you some examples and help you understand exactly what I mean because I understand that it sounds a little bit complicated. Τον ακλέβεις είναι κακό. Stealing is bad. Stealing here the verb steal with an ing at the end is to na clevis. Clevo means to steal. Then we added na before the verb and the definite article to in the neutral gender. To na clevis, stealing. To na pinis, drinking. To na tros, eating. To na kimase, sleeping etc. However, 99% of the times when we use na, we use it instead of to in English, to go, na pao, to eat, na fao. It is important to note that I will leave some important links in the description if you need some further information. Now let's move on to tha. Tha is the uh, particle we use in modern Greek for the future tenses, for the various future tenses. It's too early to learn all the future tenses at the moment, but let's see how to form, for example, the future continues. Kano, the verb kano means to do. In the future continues, it would be fakano, I will be doing. Tro means to eat. Fatro means I will be eating. Pigeno means to go. Thapigeno means I will be going. Pino means to drink. Thapino means I will be drinking. Trejo means to run. Thatrejo, I will be running. So the formation of the future continues is quite easy. All you have to do is add tha before the verb in the present tense. Let's see an example, the verb κάνω, which means to do. Κάνω κάνεις κάνει, κάνουμε κάνετε κάνουν. In the future uh, continues, in μέλλοντας εξακολουθητικός, κάνω would be θα κάνω, θα κάνεις, θα κάνει, θα κάνουμε, θα κάνετε, θα κάνουν. Okay, you got the point. Now, let's see us which is another particle used quite often in modern Greek. As, most of the time, is used before a verb instead of let in English. As pame, let's go. As clay, let him cry. Okay, let's sum things up. Please take a pen and paper and keep some notes. Na, tha and as are common Greek particles. Na is used to create the infinitive form of a verb or the gerund. Na pao, to go. Na fao, to eat. Tona trechis, running. Tona clevis, 
stealing. You can always check the description and understand better how to create the infinitive form of a verb and the gerund. Tha is similar to will in English. It is used before the verb in all future tenses. The easiest example would be o melodas exacolucitikos, the future continues. All you have to do is add tha before the verb in present tense. Pino, tha pino. I drink, I will be drinking. Cano, tha cano. I do, I will be doing. As is used similarly to let in English. Aspame, let's go. Aspame, let's eat. Aston, let him, meaning leave him alone. Okay, I know that it can be a little bit difficult to understand exactly how to use these particles. It takes time and observing how native speakers use them. You have to listen a lot, uh, different people's conversations, you have to read, and as time passes by, you will start memorizing some of the phrases. I hope you took some notes. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Θα σας δω στο επόμενο βίντεο. I will see you in the next video. Adio!